Simon isn't your typical corporate suit. He's funny. You stand proudly like this and you say, I own a business. You know, it's the greatest thing you've ever done. That's, that's how you define yourself. So I am an entrepreneur. Funny? Yeah, with a dash of morbid. And I started to have thoughts which, uh, for an entrepreneur, were worse than suicide. I started thinking about if I should get a job. <laughs> His anecdote about customer loyalty is stated in a quirky way. Okay, how many of you have your logos tattooed on your body? I'm sorry, no, no zero? Anybody? <laughs> zero. Simon's theory is success comes with belief in what you're doing, buying, or selling. I heard an amazing story. After September 11th, people started sending checks in the mail to Southwest. Some of them as high as $1,000. And with one of the $1,000 checks, what company was a letter that said, over the years you've been so good to me, I hope I can help you out in these tough times. Now clearly the amount of money they took didn't affect the bottom line at all. But how many people can stand here and say that your customers spontaneously send you money just to say thank you? That's loyalty. He helps others by believing in what they're doing. The reason I'm standing here today is because there's a statistic. 80% of Americans don't love their jobs. I'd like to see that statistic reversed. I would like to walk up down the street and stop a random person and say, do you love your job? And they go, no, I love my job. That's the world that I want to live in. And I know that it can exist because there's precedence for it. Because organizations that know their why, like Apple or Harley or Southwest, and leaders who lead with why, remind people why they get out of bed every day.